Hello and welcome to Radio Magnapina, a place to discuss the latest research and discoveries from the deep ocean. I am your host, LRJ. Today's topics, the discovery of a rare deep ocean fish that washed up on shore and an encounter with a massive grouper. In May, the carcass of an unusual anglerfish washed up in Newport Beach, California, much to the surprise of those who were present. The creature in question was later identified as a Pacific football fish, striking in its jet black appearance and with its unnerving mouth full of razor sharp teeth. Remarkably, the dead animal that washed up on shore was almost completely intact. This football fish was a female, which are capable of growing up to 24 inches or 61 centimeters long, and possess the bioluminescent appendage used for luring in prey, which their smaller male counterparts lack. Females also possess a thick, gelatinous skin covered in round, bony plates called bucklers. In their lightless, abyssal habitat, the female football fish will use the bioluminescence from their lure-like appendage to attract prey. If you've seen Finding Nemo, you know how this goes. Given how few other living creatures they typically encounter in these abyssal depths, the football fish will attempt to eat whatever it encounters, and will usually succeed so long as their prey fits within their enormous mouth. These animals typically inhabit depths of up to 3,300 feet or 1,000 meters deep and are rarely seen washed up on shore. Now, how would you have reacted had you been the one to discover this creature washed up on the beach? Tell us in the comments. Before our next topic, I'd just like to tell you guys about a cool new podcast that's sure to be making some big waves soon. At the crossroads of science, culture, and of course, history, the Working Overtime podcast examines society through the lens of work and how it has transformed civilizations throughout time and across cultures. Each episode takes a look at a historical job or industry and delves into what it would have been like to work this job and how the industry itself changed the world. The latest episode of this pod takes us to some of the deepest, darkest, and most awe-inspiring settings planet Earth has to offer. We're doing a deep dive into, well, deep diving as it happens. Specifically, the perilous quest to discover and map unexplored caves in our ocean's harshest, most remote corners. Our guide is the intrepid Jill Heinerth, a renowned underwater explorer and cave mapper whose projects span decades and whose insistence that discovery is the driving force of human advancement is an inspiration to us all. Jill's taking us back to the earliest days of her profession. That's all the way back to 350 BCE when ancient divers employed astonishingly complex tools and techniques to explore the oceans whose surfaces were inscrutable, but whose depths yielded deep sea resources and the intangible rewards of piercing that watery veil to behold an entirely different world. We'll also examine how the modern profession of underwater exploration is transforming our understanding of what really lies beneath the water that covers over 70% of Earth's surface and how what's down there relates to what's happening up here, past, present, and future. So, strap on those rebreathers and join our plunge into the vast, uncharted seas. With Jill leading the way, it's sure to be an adventure to remember. Link in the description. Off the coast of Hilton Head Island in South Carolina, a fisherman went looking for sharks only to find an animal much more rare a goliath grouper thought to be between 400 and 500 pounds. The massive fish fought the line it was hooked on for over an hour before it was finally brought up to the surface. In accordance with South Carolina's fishing regulations, the fisherman released the goliath grouper upon identifying it. He let the fish go and it swam away in a healthy state. NOAA research maintains that goliath groupers can weigh up to 800 pounds or over 360 kilograms, and they can grow as long as 8 feet or 2.4 meters. U.S. regulations prevent the harvesting of goliath groupers due to their conservation status of being threatened or even endangered in the Gulf of Mexico. These massive animals are known to act quite aggressively at times. 
They prey upon a variety of creatures, ranging from crustaceans to lemon sharks, the latter of which can grow up to 11 feet or 3.4 meters long. On occasion, goliath groupers have even attacked human divers. In general, the behavior of these fish can be described as inquisitive and fearless. That is all for today's segment. Thank you so much for listening. Please do let us know in the comments if you like our narrated videos and you want to see more like this, or if you only want to see our classic style videos which are text driven. And as always, never stop asking yourselves the fundamental question, what else lurks within the abyss? Until next time.